Mitchell filed suit on December 8, 2022, alleging false imprisonment and that the police acted maliciously, unlawfully, and without reasonable or probable cause. Court filings suggest that at approximately 6 a.m. on July 1, 2020, Mitchell said he was awakened by his wife and realized that there were police personnel inside his home. After searching the dwelling and finding nothing illegal, he was arrested and several items were also removed from the premises. According to the court ruling, the claimant was locked up for some 20 days and released without charge. During that period, the claimant was deprived of the freedom to move about as he wished and to conduct his business. The court says he spoke of being visited by his father and wife daily. It ruled that no doubt, the fact of being in the lockup and being seen by his wife and father must have caused injury to his pride and dignity. The judge says the fact of being placed in handcuffs and being transported in the back of a truck and having to sleep on wet and cold concrete in unsanitary conditions must have had the very same effect. The judge says it is abundantly and unmistakably plain, based on the evidence put forward to support the claim, that the claimant's right to protection of his property, his right to liberty and security of the person, and the right to not be deprived of those rights had been breached. The justice says there can be no question that how the claimant was treated is the result of a grave misuse of state power. The ruling says the claim should not be denied and the claimant is therefore entitled to redress.